in in terms of the 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 film that that you had sort of um, sort of set out to make at the beginning. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, as as things come up, you sort of have to adapt. Um, and, and I know you sort of wanted to sort of get this out uh, to sort of tell the story um, as soon as you could. But but how hard was it to sort of to sort of uh, sort of set a finish date and sort of say we need to get this out as the story is you know still unfolding? Was was that a was that a difficult sort of balance to to sort of navigate? Um, well, it came up pretty naturally. I mean, we we always knew that from the beginning that we wanted it to be a character-driven piece, and um, when you embark on that, you just sort of intrinsic to that way of filmmaking is that you have to keep filming until something happens naturally to the characters, um, or you won't have a story. Um, so ultimately, I mean, we we got um, you know we got w a way different story than we ever anticipated getting because we obviously had no idea that David would um, pass away. But we we did intend to f keep filming until we felt like we had um, you know a complete enough story to make a film out of because we we also it was really important that we not just make a film that worked as a tool for advocacy and stuff but we felt like the the way to make um, the best film or make the most use out of these people's stories was to make a film that stood on its own as a film also not just as um, you know something that was educational or full of facts about you know how, what's it's, what it's like to be a gay person in Uganda we, we wanted to tell a human story also you know once David passed away we knew that that would um, you know, at some point when we kind of got over our grief and started thinking about it from a filmmaking perspective, um, you know, that seemed like that gave us a, a pretty clear plot point. And then we knew that we wanted to carry on with the other um, people with whom we'd been filming, like David and Long Jones, and sort of experience the death through their eyes. And so we just stayed in Uganda um, for enough weeks until we felt like we had sort of captured that um, their transition process from grieving to kind of moving on and picking up where he left off and pushing the movement forward. Um, and then, as I said, Berlin came up, and um, that was just sort of, it was funny because it actually came up right at the time. We didn't think that we had been accepted. And so we're like, you know, it's probably a blessing in disguise. We really need like another six months of editing. Let's just let's just really concentrate on that, get the story right, and um, move from there. And then, like just a couple days later, we got this email, and that just threw everything, <laughs> all of our plans out the window, and we just uh, rushed to finish it. Um, so stuff kind of came up pretty organically. And I think one thing that um, was really important to us was that throughout the process of, of filming up until David died. David had been the biggest supporter of the film and he'd been, um, he'd just always been the main person within the community who was really encouraging us to keep going and really helping us in any way he could. Now me as well was like that, but David especially. And so I think when we found out he'd, he'd been killed, which we found out in real time at, at about the same time as the community, because now me was texting us, we were on the phone with his lawyer and so on. But, um, it was really obvious that we just had to keep filming because we knew that, of all people, David would have wanted us to continue filming and, and document the impact of, of his murder. After he died, we kind of just had him, uh, even though he was always um, going to be a main character in the film, we just had you know what he wanted from the film kind of at the front of our minds um, very much so. And I think he, he recognised that it was really important for people to relate to himself and the rest of the community as regular people, not as gay people.